Welcome back to my channel guys For today's video we will talk about what is an air gas system It is a system used to lower the oxygen content at 5% by volume in the tank in order to avoid combustion and explosions as per safety of life at sea requirement to crude product and chemical tanker to ensure the safety of the crew vessel and environment so what is inert gas inert gas is a mixture of gas such as sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide and oxide of nitrogen and etc containing insufficient amount of oxygen at 5% to support combustion so in this video guys I would like to show you the main components of the inert gas system and its function as you notice from the first video guys that is inert gas blower or inert gas fan which pushes the inert gas to the cargo tanks so the inert gas blower capacity is 11,250 cubic meter per hour as you can see guys here is the specification of the inert gas system blower and this is the discharge valve of the IG blower the electro pneumatic controlled discharge valve this valve automatically open as soon as it receives running signal from the IG blower motor so this is the impeller side the driving electromotor side as you can see guys this IG blower fan is in operation and this valve is the suction valve of the IG blower fan which is coming from the scrubber tower and this is the side view of the IG blower fan and this IG blower fan is in standby mode everything is set ready in case failure of the operating IG blower fan and this is the pressure of the fan which is 7 kilopascal and this is the temperature which is 52 degrees centigrade and adjacent to that is the monitoring safety protective devices as you can see guys here is the side view of the two inert gas blower fan as you can see this pipe guys is the suction line which is coming from the scrubber tower and this line this one is coming from the atmosphere in case for gas freeing mode and this is the scrubber tower which is responsible for cleaning and cooling of the inert gas and has the capacity as same as the inert gas blower which is 11,250 cubic meter per hour as you can see guys the oxygen content is 3.4 percent this is the oxygen analyzer which measures the oxygen concentration of an inert gas this is the flow control of the inert gas sample and this gas is the nitrogen gas for calibration of the oxygen analyzer and together with the compressed air for calibration of the oxygen as you can see guys this line is coming from the uptake valve from the auxiliary boiler so this is the scrubber tower guys operated by scrubber deep water seal pump at the minimum pressure of 1.5 bar as you can see the interaction of the inert gas and the scrubber cooling water interference from the inside of the scrubber sour gas so 
this is the sub control panel of the inert gas system as you can see guys there is an emergency stop in case for emergency situation or any failure the system can be stopped from this control so this is the boiler control panel as one of the main components of the inert gas system aside from inert gas generator so in this vessel guys the inert gas is taking from the flue gas of the auxiliary boiler the other design of the vessel they have inert gas generator so this scrubber tower guys operates at the maximum of 400 degrees centigrade of flue gas inlet temperature and this system is fully equipped with safety protective and monitoring device for safety reasons so until here guys i hope you learned something about the inert gas system so if you are interested in this kind of topic guys please don't forget to hit like and subscribe this is jb23 vlog Bye.